Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Arnav from Coding Blocks, and uh, we have this uh, series of videos here, which uh, in which I'm going to be uh, showing you how to set up a Visual Studio Code, and uh, uh, you know for uh, many different languages like uh, C plus plus and uh, Python, Java, JavaScript, uh, all of these. Uh, so here at Coding Blocks, uh, all the courses that we do and all the other mentors, uh, we also all uh, recommend using VS Code. Usually most of us when we uh, record our uh, online coding videos, uh, except the Android one where we use Android Studio. Apart from that, most of the uh, other ones we are using uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, uh, apart from Visual Studio Code though, uh, two other very good uh, text editors uh, I would also recommend uh, is uh, Atom uh, for, uh, you know, um, Atom is made by GitHub and uh, github uh, is uh, part of uh, microsoft right now so in a way you can think atoms and vs code are somewhat made by the same company only uh, but yeah it's a different text editor it's similar it's similar but uh, it has also the similar uh, set of extensions it's also a very good text editor so if somebody already uses atom or they're comfortable with that feel free to continue using that and there is another text editor uh, which is also uh, very uh, commonly used and again if somebody uses that and uh, you know if uh, somebody is already comfortable with that you can continue using that that is sublime text uh, sublime text technically is uh, paid although you know uh, they allow you to evaluate it uh, for an infinite amount of time uh, so if you're using that i would recommend you actually pay and use for that because the developer would earn some money out of it um, uh, here uh, this series i'm going to be covering how to you know uh, get started with vs code how you can set up some of the you know uh, most uh, common uh, set of uh, extensions which are very useful while uh, developing and debugging and uh, I, I will cover like languages like you know C++ how to set up the compilation uh, for C++ and how you can debug lines of code in C++ similarly the same for uh, I can do the same with Python with JavaScript with Java and uh, so on okay so uh, you can go to code.visualstudio.com and download it. Keep in mind, this is uh, different from uh, the main Visual Studio editor. So there is an IDE called Visual Studio. So this is the main Visual Studio uh, IDE, which uh, is this one, the one on the left. Okay, uh, and there is a version for Visual Studio for Mac. So we are not using either of those. Uh, we are focusing on Visual Studio Code, which is just a lightweight code editor. Okay, it is not a full featured IDE. Uh, if you're uh, creating C Sharp projects uh, in an enterprise environment, that is when the bigger Visual Studio one is uh, more, uh, you know, uh, recommended and it's a paid and a full featured very big IDE. Uh, what uh, we are discussing here is about Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code, uh, there is the stable build available one which uh, when you go here, you will be able to download it for your operating system or you can, you know, uh, go and uh, download it for Mac, Windows, Linux, it's available for all three platforms or you can also go for the Insiders Edition and the Insiders Edition is uh, basically uh, kind of like the Visual Studio uh, 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 you can say Visual Studio Code Beta. Uh, it contains the uh, latest features, but it might not be as stable as the you know main version. So I have uh, both. Uh, if I search for Visual Studio Code, as you can see, I have got both the Insiders version and the normal version both installed. Uh, right. Uh, so you can keep both them, both of them installed parallelly. The Insiders for the latest feature, the stable version. Uh, if there is any, you know, the Insiders version is crashing or something happens, then you can have the stable version as well. The, the normal version has a blue icon, the inside version has a green icon, uh, like this. Okay, so uh, if you open uh, Visual Studio uh, code, uh, that's how it looks like uh, when it gets uh, open. Okay, uh, and there is, you know, this is called the file uh, view. Uh, the open files are shown here. This is the search view where you can search for some text inside your project. Uh, this is the git view where you can uh, you know check out the github branch and everything and this is the run and debugging uh, view and this is the extensions where you can search for extensions on the marketplace so and uh, you can uh, you know uh, go and uh, sign into your uh, account as well here uh, your uh, microsoft or github account if you can uh, keep signed in and this is where you can go for your settings okay so that's uh, the basic setup uh, and uh, we'll just uh, cover for each language what are the best extensions to have uh, i'm going to be uh, covering that in the next set of videos okay